Let's take a look at the tropics, everybody. Hi there, I'm Chief Meteorologist Mike Iskovitz here at Fox 26, watching the progress of Hurricane Ernesto, fifth storm of the season, third hurricane of the season, and one that's going to make yet another landfall. In fact, have you noticed this? Every storm so far this year has made a landfall. We had four of them in the Gulf Coast, and now we have one that's going to be headed toward the island of Bermuda. Now, what I have turned on here is from this afternoon. This is called the mesoscale sector or the floater high resolution visible satellite imagery. And it's amazing. This is actually minute by minute. Uh, imagery, which I love because you can see right down through the eye there. There has been an eye that's developed today. Uh, the storm is a, a pretty robust category two at this point. Um, I really thought it would have been just slightly stronger by now, but it's picking up its forward motion a little bit. Looks like it's encountering some shear coming in from this way. So that's why a lot of the clouds are being pushed off uh, to the north of it. Uh, nevertheless, it definitely is a threat and of course, Bermuda, you know, I mean, look, in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, they deal with these things uh, fairly frequently, but it's not really common that the eye of a storm will move directly over the island. So it really only happens maybe every 10 to 12 ish uh, years. And this one will obviously be, uh, you know, um, pretty you know, something to be reckoned with. What I also think is really interesting about storms like this, when we have hurricanes that make it into this area, which you would call like the mid latitudes, sort of out of the tropics, they start to really spread out because they'll get caught up into the jet stream winds. They can merge with cold fronts and things like that. So you'll see the center of circulation of Ernesto is there almost due east of like South Carolina, but the clouds are streaming all the way up to the British Isles on the north side, and then the clouds on the south side are all the way down to the uh, Caribbean Sea. So actually the whole influence of the system stretches thousands of miles. It's pretty interesting to see most most assuredly, but probably not that interesting for the folks that are bracing for it in Bermuda. So the latest on Ernesto as of 4 p.m. Uh, from the National Hurricane Center 4 p.m. Friday is that it has maximum sustained winds here of about 100, which puts it at category two status. Uh, the pressure is certainly much lower than it was. I mean, that continues to be a fairly robust uh, hurricane there below 970, and the movement right now is to the northeast at 13 miles per hour. So it's not going to be moving toward the U.S. East Coast. Uh, the effects are primarily going to be high waves uh, and swells that are going to be moving toward the East Coast, and that means threatening surf and beach erosion and things like that. And you know, there are always some folks that you know, get in the water and, you know, uh, want to enjoy uh, the bigger waves, and so that always is uh, a bit of a hazard. So just please, please be extra careful, especially for the kids. So it is expected, there's the island of Bermuda. Right now, it's very likely that the center of circulation, like the actual eye, might pass right over the island. If not, it passes just a little bit to the east or to the west. So at a minimum, the folks there are bracing for 80 to 90 mile per hour winds, most likely some higher gusts. From here, the system begins to pick up forward speed and moves pretty quickly off here into the North Atlantic Ocean. Notice it stays very far away from the east coast of the US. From here, very uh, frequently, uh, the Canadian Maritime provinces like Newfoundland will get in on some brief winds and some big waves from the system. And then it actually is pointing all the way over here at places like Ireland, Scotland. They might get in on at least some of the rain and some of the gales, as I guess you would call it in that part of the world. Um, no longer a tropical system, obviously just sort of like uh, gale force winds there over the North Atlantic. Here is our exclusive Fox model, and it really is legitimately exclusive to Fox. It was developed uh, in Tampa. It's a variation of what's called the weather research and forecast model or the wharf. And it's been doing a pretty good job with the tropics this year. So this is where it's showing uh, Hurricane Ernesto by 830 tomorrow morning. So hot and humid weather here in Houston and over in Bermuda, obviously the complete opposite with very high winds. From there, it's actually showing it maintaining a lot of its circulation as it heads farther into the North Atlantic Ocean. And this is the three day forecast. There's Nova Scotia and it's going to be just skirting by the coastal areas of Newfoundland up there in Canada. Now let's take a look at the GFS computer model. This is actually kind of neat because it's, it's a global model and it also goes really far out. And so I want to show you where this thing may be headed. So Ernesto passes by Bermuda, and then again, it makes its pass by the eastern provinces of Canada. Now, as we head into Tuesday, it's way up here in the North Atlantic Ocean, and then watch what happens heading into next week. So now we're all the way at the end here, uh, 5 p.m. on Thursday with the circulation over Iceland. 
So these, you know, these things can really hold together a long time. And generally when they get into the North Atlantic Ocean, they expand also. So that wind field is going to bring some rain to Ireland and Scotland and, you know, parts of uh, the British Isles along with Iceland. Uh, storm names so far this year. Like I said, we've had three hurricanes. Of course, we had Beryl. That was the record setting category five, uh, which formed at the end of June, beginning of July. Debbie was a one and Ernesto is now a category two. The next name on the list is Francine. That is a new uh, item on a new name on the list this year it replaces Florence that was retired six years ago after it hit the Carolinas. Milton is also a new name. It replaces Michael, my namesake, which was a category five uh, that hit the Florida panhandle. All right, so what else is happening out there right now? Obviously, other than Hurricane Ernesto. Well, the answer is not much. We're actually in a very quiet period right now. Um, there aren't any significant tropical waves. We've had a plume of Saharan dust uh, that's moved out there, and generally the Saharan dust is associated with a, a lack uh, of tropical activity. When we do have more forming here coming up maybe later on this month, they tend to form out here in this area known as the main development region across the Atlantic Ocean. So we'll keep an eye on that area maybe more toward the end of the month. Also the East Coast, those don't generally affect us. And of course, we will keep a close eye on the Gulf of Mexico as well. And that is your look at the tropics for today.